I'm doing a video on PSJ because I've had a bad experience with him lately and I almost thought of literally unsubbing from him because it's, it's it was so terrible and I made a list of nine reasons here too because there's a lot of things I like to say about him and I've been in with a long time since about summer 2014 I think and the first reason here his channel ain't family friendly anymore. I had a I commented on one of his videos recently about a game called Chris or Miscreated, and it's kind of a zombie gun survival game for you know adult people. And considering his fan base is mostly young people, it shouldn't be on his channel. And he has a second channel which he abandoned, and I'll get to that later. And I commented on there just to see what people would say. I said. I thought this was a family friendly channel and he actually replied to me which was surprising as hell considering he only replies to a few comments per video and never sees most of the people what they comment in the first place and he said to me that he never said it was a family channel in the first place and that what's so bad about the game guns and blood and that's PG-13 stuff he said which that reply made me consider unsubbing that was so bad. Him saying that to me, when he has a second channel to post that stuff on the first place, which he abandoned, because he can't manage it, and I'll get to that later, of course. And when he has that, and he says that to me, it's completely ridiculous. That's not supposed to be on his channel, and he has all those young viewers on there that watch him usually, and they are watching that. That's terrible. That should not be on there. But he doesn't seem to care about any of that. And that bad experience, I think if I have one more bad experience with him, I am unsubbing for good. Even though I've been with him for a long time, he, he's gone downhill so much lately. And the second thing, his sub growth is not very good. I remember I, when I started following him a couple years ago, I think he had about 930,000 subs. And it took him a long time just to get to a million. And he was struggling to get subs. And when he finally did get to a million, he put out his video about two weeks late his million sub video which is kind of <laughs> kind of disappointing considering he should have been on the ball with that immediately such a huge milestone we didn't seem to really be too too happy about that or something he didn't really you know didn't have himself prepared apparently and the third thing he abandoned his second channel which I was talking about earlier he's got a second channel in case you don't know called Polly on Tap in that channel he uploads all of his mature stuff because his other one is for young people and on that one it's abandoned all he the reason he said why he abandoned it was just he can't manage two channels that's it no details no nothing just randomly abandoned it and now it's sitting there with no uploads and it's not like it's hard to manage two channels I have I have multiple channels and some of them I don't upload on and stuff but if you do upload frequently it isn't hard at all, especially if it's not even that frequent, like his wasn't that frequent either. It was just one video, maybe one or two videos a week, or one every week or so. It wasn't very frequent at all compared to his other channel. But he abandoned it for some reason, and that channel is totally done now. And he uploaded some good stuff on there too, that I've watched before. But that's done for good, and all the young people on his other channel ended up watching that now. And he abandoned his Facebook, too, is the next reason. I looked on there, and his last post was from a long time ago. Now, he only uses his Twitter. That's it. Again, he just randomly abandoned his Facebook, and he never uses it anymore. No announcement at all. Just totally abandoned it, just like his other channel. I don't know if he can't manage his Facebook, too, because that seems to be a lot of work for him or something. And he only uses his Twitter now. That's the only way you get to see what he does. Well, he uses Google Plus, too, but not many people even see him on there. It's mostly Twitter. And fifth thing, he lies to his fans. Because, uh, he said on there, on his Twitter page, he made a big announcement on there. He said that when Minecraft 1.11 update comes out, this huge update, he's going to start the series again. But when it did come out, which was pretty recently at the time of this video, he didn't totally done. Just a complete lie. He doesn't do what he says. He says, I'll be starting this series back up, and he was talking about another series, a roleplay one he does, 
go members of Minecraft that one too. He says, oh, I'm going to be getting that going. I'm so excited to get that going. And that's been years since he said that, since the previous season of that has ended. And he has done nothing to get that back going again. Even though he's mentioned it several times over that time period. Nothing. Like, it doesn't even exist. He doesn't say nothing about it either. And the sixth thing, he abandoned the Minecraft. The thing that started his channel out from the beginning. The backbone of his channel. Totally abandoned. He hasn't done that in forever. And that's what people want to see. They want to see him do that. Like, come back with all the series he promised. Just like that 1.11 Let's Play. He made an announcement for on Twitter. But that ain't happening. Totally abandoned that too. Doesn't care about it no more. For some reason, doesn't say either. For some reason. A lot of the stuff that he does abandon, he doesn't have any reason for it at all. And if it is a reason that he says... It's a complete bullcrap one. Same thing, his personality has changed. He used to be a, a funny person that would always tell stories in his videos and always talk about his life. And nowadays, it is nothing like that. It's play the game, focus on the game, and don't talk about anything about you. And get done. That's it. That's all his videos are nowadays. He doesn't say anything about his personal life because apparently he thinks people don't care or something. I have no idea why he's changed that either. <laughs> I even commented on one of his videos on time, but I got no response on that one, of course. The one I wanted him to see more than that other comment, I never got no response on. Which is not surprising, considering he barely looks at his comments, ever. A thing, his series abruptly end, and no reasons why. You could probably go through his channel, and there's probably, I'd say, 10 to 15 or 20 series. You can just count the numbers and they'll keep going up of how many he's abandoned over the years with no reason or no announcement or no anything. I could just list a couple. His Lord of the Rings roleplay series that randomly ended I think around 10 episodes. Done. No more episodes came. No reason. No announcement. No nothing. Just ended abruptly. And for his other series too, all of his is a Let's Play series. All of that ended abruptly with no announcement, no nothing. This episode just stopped coming. He doesn't even say that in one of the last videos. You know, you think you announced, well, I think this series is going to end soon. He doesn't do that. They just end without no notice at all to any of his fans. Which is complete bullcrap. If you're going to stop something, tell people what you're going to do so they know what's happening. And so they can watch the last episode when it comes out. Not just randomly end stuff. And I can even list more than that. That list can go on in another series. There is plenty of them that he's done on there. Even on his second channel, too. Both channels, even though the second one's abandoned. There's series that he has randomly ended. With no announcement or no anything to tell his fans. Even the Man vs. Minecraft roleplay series. That one ended, too. He, he, like I was talking about earlier. He said he was going to get that one going a long time ago, but nope, that's never happened, so it's basically done now. I don't know if I'll ever get that back going because he seems so out of that game by now. Even though that's what people come to his channel for, he seems like he doesn't want to do it. And the ninth thing here, he doesn't care about the Minecraft convention for the game that started his channel. He hasn't went there since, I think, 2011 or 2012. It has been four to five years since he's went there, and if he has went there, in between that time, he hasn't made any announcement or any videos on it. Just like with all the other stuff I'm talking about, too. Doesn't say nothing. No nothing. He doesn't say anything about that at all. He doesn't tell people what he's doing. As if we don't care about his personal life or something. And something's wrong. He should be doing that. Because people need to know what he is doing. And he goes... I don't think he's went to any conventions or anything with gaming in a long time and if he has I haven't seen him anywhere I haven't seen any announcements or heard him say anything in videos and that's complete bullcrap if you want to meet up with fans go to the conventions and be done and go there and see them because they like you even though you're going downhill even though PSJ is going downhill he definitely should still meet up with the fans that still like him even though I'm really starting to not like him a lot, and if I have one more bad experience with him, I'm probably unsubbing for good. But, people that do like him, he needs to meet up with his fans, and he doesn't want to do that.
for some reason, he doesn't care. He doesn't seem to care about a lot. I remember even seeing on his Twitter when that announcement where he said he'd bring the mind or 1.11 Let's Play up again. With that one, I think in that same announcement, he said that his mom and his mother-in-law both died, and he kind of just brushed it off as if two of my family members just died, but I'm not going to make a big deal about it. I'm just telling you. And what is that? What the hell is that? Two people in your family die, but you act like you don't care, and you don't make a big deal about it, or don't barely even tell anybody at all. That's a joke. It's a complete joke. If they're in your family, you care about them, and we can say, oh, the videos are going to be a little bit scarce because these, pe this, these events happened. Okay, tell us that. But apparently this guy, apparently PSJ, does not have barely any communications with his fan base at all. And that's one of his huge problems, too. I probably put that on this list, but I never did. And there's another thing about him that he's going downhill, and I think I might just start leaving comments on his videos to see if he does reply to another one and does reply so stupidly that I'm going to unsub. I was almost going to reply to that one he left on that other one about that family-friendly thing, but I thought he won't even see anyway. He has no notifications on for anything. He doesn't care about his comments at all, so I'm not even going to bother replying. And getting back to that, I remember even him saying that on the description of his channel, when you go to the About page on it, I remember he even said that in the first part of his description, Family Friendly Minecraft and the gameplay. That's what he said. But that's gone now. It's all, it just says totally different stuff like what games he's playing and stuff. He changed that a long time ago. Probably since he abandoned his second channel and he figures, well, people can't say it's bad that I'm posting this mature stuff on my regular channel because I just can't manage the second one. It's just too much work for me uploading one video a week on the second one. God. Managing two channels is, is easy. And even if you have more than that, if you have three of me upload on somewhat frequently each, which I do know people that have that many and they upload on them, it's not that hard. If they can do it, you can do it too. And I know he has kids apparently. He's got three kids. And the thing is with that, the oldest one, he's off to college and he's gone. He doesn't even have to worry about him anymore. He's way grown up by now. The second one, the girl, she's basically to college right now. So she's gone too. And the third one, I think he's about 15 or something, and he's the only one that he has to babysit anymore. So he can't really blame him having three kids to worry about. He can't blame that for his issues on his channel anymore. That's just not an excuse. Because they're gone, two of them are gone, and he's got one left. One kid is nothing compared to what some other people have, and they probably upload more frequently than this guy. But he does have some good series in the past, I would say. He was a lot better back then, too. Just like I was saying earlier, personality was way better. He actually talked about himself and told stories and told things and said things that people want to hear. Nowadays, it's gone completely downhill, and he doesn't say any of that. But I would just like to share that because if you have a bad experience with him, I don't know if I'd really give him a second chance because there's plenty of reasons why you can unsub. I just went through a whole pile of them right there. And there's even more than that probably. There's more than the amount that I went through right there. 